Hey guys, thanks for coming back to my channel today. So today I'm here and I'm gonna share my September favorites. It is October, it's the first week of October, and so usually I like to do a lifestyle favorites video and an accompanying blog post over on my blog. Um, that's kindlykatie.com. And so you can go over there and read it, or you can watch this video, it'll have the same content. Um, but my blog post will be a little more in depth with the descriptions and stuff. So um, let's get into my favorites for the month of September. So the first category I'm gonna talk about is beauty. And um, my beauty favorite for the month of September is the Kula Resilience um, Organic BB Plus Cream. And this has a built-in SPF 30. This is just a trial size that I got. Um, I ordered the Tone It Up Summer Bundle over the summer, and this is one of the um, trial products that was included in it. And so I got that maybe in um, July, I think, but I saved this product because I wanted to take it on our trip to Kauai. And um, so I saved it and I used it in Kauai and I ended up loving it. It's a very light, coverage it's not like a full face of foundation makeup but it is a light coverage and it was perfect for when we were on our boat tour and snorkeling and swimming and hiking just doing really active things because i didn't want to wear like a full face of makeup on those days but this was really good and it has that included spf 30 which is very nice and i just felt comfortable you know with just a little bit of makeup on something to kind of make me look a little bit more put together um so I would definitely recommend this product. It was actually really great and I plan on getting it next year. Um, this is probably not something that I would use a lot um, in the winter months when it's cold, but like in the warmer months whenever I'm doing active things, hiking, working out, going to workout classes, biking, things like that. I think this is a really good product. My next favorite is my wellness favorite. And for the month of September, that was the Studio Tone It Up app. Um, and sorry for the glare. So this is what the app looks like. And when you pull it up, you'll have a studio workout here. And that is actually based on a subscription. You have to pay to get access to the studio classes. But for free, you can get these daily moves every day. Um, so you don't have to pay to get the app. And you can get the daily moves for free. Um, it shows you your workouts there. And they always have like a daily quote or photo for encouragement. Um, but so I started using this a few months ago when they finally released it for Android users. Um, I was so excited. So I did pay for a year of subscription of studio classes. And, um, at first, you know, I was getting into it and I was a little unsure because I've been following Tone It Up for about four years now. And whenever I started, it was just Karina and Katrina, the two main girls who started the company. Um, but the studio workouts actually feature a lot more different trainers. There's Stephanie, Chevy, Tori, um, Heather, um, China. There's a few other girls who teach classes. And it took me a while to get used to that because, you know, everyone has a different teaching style. But now I'm actually really loving it. And I've gotten used to all the trainers. And it's just really nice. You can, um, if you pay for the studio subscription, you can actually schedule your workouts for the whole week. And it'll send you reminders when your class is about to start. Or you can just always do the classes on demand, which is so nice. So, you know, um, I try to get up in the mornings and work out um, usually about 5.30 in the morning so I can get it done before I start my work day. Um, but sometimes I sleep in and I miss my alarm and it's cool to just be able to come home from work and click on demand and just do it whenever I can, fit it in whenever I can. So it's really great, it's really accessible and it's great if you're on the go. Um, so yeah, I would highly recommend the app. And even if you just wanna download it and start with the daily moves, that is a great way to start tone it up. Okay, so my fashion favorite for the month of September um, are actually Daniel and I for our trip to Kauai, which was at the end of August. Um, but we decided to buy Kalo rings. And what they are are these um, like silicone rings. So they're, you know, plasticky and squishy. Um, I got this set of red, white, and blue stackable rings, so they fit together. Um, here, I'll show you what they look like on. You can just wear one by itself, which is how I typically was wearing them. Or, you know, you can, you know, do two 
or even three. And they have tons of different stackable ring options. Um, I got this set of red, white, and blue. Um, not for like really any particular reason, but I thought that the um, white and blue especially would be good neutral colors to have. Um, they will just go with basically any outfit. Um, and they do come in this cute little carry case. Um, it's just like a little neoprene zipper case. And so that's what I've been storing my rings in. Um, but these were great. We took these on our trip to Kauai because um, we just didn't want to wear our actual wedding bands and rings um, just in case, you know, they got lost or stolen or damaged in any way. But the Kalo rings are great. Um, I think we wore them hiking and swimming and everything. They stayed on great. We didn't have any issues with them at all. So I would definitely recommend those if you're an active person, if you work out, um, if you do a lot of things outside or any kind of physical like hands-on activity where you don't want your um, wedding rings to get damaged, then those are a great option. Okay, so now we're going to talk about entertainment. So my favorite TV show for the month of September was Parks and Recreation and that's on Netflix. Um, this will be the third time that I've watched it through. Um, Daniel and I started it on our trip in Kauai just to, you know, watch something um, while we were hanging out in our room. But um, I just love this show. The actors are great. It's so funny. Um, we just, me and Daniel have so many, like, memories of this show and, like, inside jokes about this show, and so it's just a great option. My favorite movie. So, in September, Daniel was gone, um, for two weeks. He had to go up to Michigan for a work thing, um, so I was here by myself, and so I watched quite a few movies, um, like three movies, I think, in the span of two weeks on Netflix. And my favorite one that I watched by far in the month of September was To All the Boys I've Loved Before. Um, this is based on the book of the same name by Jenny Han. I've heard tons and tons and tons about this book and the series. There's, um, I think three books in this series, but, um, I knew whenever I saw the preview for the Netflix original movie, I was like, okay, I'm definitely going to watch this. This is not something that Daniel's going to want to watch because it's a teenager -y chick flick movie. Um, but I watched it one night while he was out of town and I loved this movie. The actors were great. The story was great. It was so cute. And now I really, really, really want to read the books. So, because I think, I hope, Netflix might be making the other two movies. So, it makes me want to read the book. Um, but I will mention the other two uh, movies. I think there were only two other movies um, that I watched. And they were both Netflix original movies. And I feel like Netflix has definitely stepped up their game with their original content. Um, so, To All the Boys I've Loved Before was my favorite. I also watched The Guernsey Literary and Potato Pill Pie Society. That's also based off of a book. It was a phenomenal movie. Um, it's set during World War II, I believe, and it's just about this author and this book club, and they just, all of their lives converge during this horrible time or the time kind of after the war, I guess, but there's a, like a mystery that's unfolding. That's a really great movie. If you like um, period movies, like movies set in historical events, that one's really great, and it also has a love story. Um, and then the other movie that I watched um, later in the month of September was Sierra Burgess is a Loser, also a Netflix original movie, and this one stars, um, I, th I believe her name is Shannon Purser. Um, she plays Barb in... Stranger Things, and she also is Ethel in Riverdale, and it has the same male lead as To All the Boys I've Loved Before. So, and that guy, I'm not sure what that guy's name is, but he's a really good actor, very good for like teenagery, young adult roles. Sierra Burgess is a Loser is a really good movie also, um, coming of age story, kind of misfit turns, sort of, she just, she just comes of age and like, is comfortable in her own skin and stuff like that. It was just a really great movie. I would recommend all three of those movies and all three of them are Netflix original movies. My favorite book for the month of September was Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Um, as you probably know if you've been reading my blog or watching my videos lately, this is my first time reading through the Harry Potter series. Um, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban is actually my favorite of the Harry Potter movies and reading this book was so awesome. I was able to learn things about the Marauders map and its origins that I didn't know. Um, just so many things about the Dementors and the 
uh, Patronus charms and just so many pieces of the puzzle that are left out of the movie. I still adore the movies. Um, I will always love the movies, but the books are really just increasing my love for Harry Potter. So I loved reading Prisoner of Azkaban and um, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire is actually on my TBR for the month of October. So stay tuned on my channel and on my Goodreads profile if you want to see my thoughts on that one when I get through it. Okay guys, sorry. Um, I ran out of space on my memory card. Ollie decided to join us and he hates it. <laughs> um, so. My planner favorites for September. So in September, the Happy Planner actually released all the information on the new 12 month planners for 2019. And I spent, it, this all happened while Daniel was gone um, on his work trip. Um, and so I just spent my evenings watching through the planner flip through videos. Honestly, I still haven't figured out which uh, planner I'm gonna get, so I'm very indecisive on which one I want. Um, so if you're a planner person, please let me know in the comments below which planner you picked out for 2019, because I need help choosing. So as you can see, this is the door that comes in from our garage, and it comes straight into the kitchen, and there's no coat closet, that's actually the pantry. Um, so there's no coat closet, so um, we used to just kinda hang our, um, coats on the back of these chairs here at the table and I got really tired of it looking messy so I picked up this coat rack from the at home store. It'll be linked in the description box and I know it's in my blog post but I got this at the at home store. It's very affordable. It's only $90. Um, it has this great um, industrial style with the wood and the metal and it's got four hooks there at the top. Um, so I put this by the door where we come in so we can store our bags, jackets, hats, anything like that there just so they're not in the way and it looks really awesome and I've been loving this lately. So you know, that's kind of what it looks like when it's full, has a couple extra things on there. You could put shoes on the bottom shelf, um, but I just want to show you this. This is my home goods favorite for the month of September. And um, like I said, it'll be linked in the description box below along with everything else I'm talking about in this video. Also, links are in my accompanying blog post, so be sure to go check that out. So my final favorites category is food. For the month of September, I really wasn't focusing too much on like eating super clean or anything. It was really hard to get back in the swing of things after our trip, um, but I really focused on comfort food. Um, one of my favorite comfort foods is soup. Um, I made chili, I made homemade chicken noodle soup, I made this awesome tortellini Italian soup. Um, uh, most of these recipes you'll be able to find on my Pinterest. Please be sure to um, go follow me over there. I'm just called um, Kindly Katie, I believe, on Pinterest. Um, and actually I'm going to have a blog post coming up next week sharing all of my favorite fall recipes. So be sure to stay tuned for that. Follow me on Instagram to see all of my blogging updates. And also if you want to go to www.kindlykatie.com, you can actually put in your email there and subscribe and so you'll be notified every time I do a new blog post. So there you have my favorites for the month of September, guys. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. I love that you guys are here to support me and watch my videos. Um, I would love to hear any ideas that you have for future content um, from me. And I'm just starting out, but I'm loving this journey already. Um, so be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And subscribe to see all of my future videos. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.